So I'm making this video so I at least can explain some things before I go into detail for detail. I know a lot of people are saying, you're milking this, you're milking this, just tell us already, just tell us already. This is a decade long problem, man, with a lot of legal shit around that. So now it's turned into multiple problems. It's not just the initial problem I had in the beginning, it's a lot deeper than that. And yes, I'm gonna say this now because they're probably gonna try to say, well, he's only doing this because we owe him money and he's mad. It's, they do owe me money, yes, and they haven't taken care of me, yes, and the money that I bought the Counter-Strike team for, it took him six years to pay me back, yes, I never got a dollar or brand deal, yes, that's all. They're gonna say that, and that is is a frustration of mine but I obviously held that in for years I held that frustration in for years and it was never the reason that I was gonna do this or speak publicly because if they just owed me money I would have handled it a different way this is a lot deeper than that and a lot of my brothers don't see the actual issue here they are being taken advantage of I have to be careful with what I say so it's yes I did get fucked over but that's not it and what made me think about it is like dude if I'm one of the biggest shareholders I'm one of the founders I'm one of the main people of this brand and they're gonna fuck me over like who else won't they do that to and when I said like it's easier to sit back and take the money I didn't make one it's not what I mean but I do have shares that are worth money right now who knows what the future holds right who knows what the future holds I just don't feel like this is a very um halal interaction I don't feel like this is very transparent, safe, honest, I don't feel none of that. It's a lot of like reassurance of stuff that's never gonna come true and every single person knows that but they still fall for it. I don't know why. It's the corruption in the background. It's people that get involved that aren't part, like they're not like us bro. And that's the reason I'm fighting so hard is because I'm fighting for the future me's. People that are like me, people that sacrificed their life, their childhood to do this shit and to build this shit. They deserve what comes. Not the fucking people that were talking shit about us 10 years ago saying you guys are wasting your time then come in now and own most of the shit and give themselves what they want take advantage of us because we're dumb and young and don't know business like that. I don't want that to happen to you guys. I want to learn that lesson. I want to take the L, which I already did, by the way, and teach you guys about it. That's what I've said about everything. With my injury, with everything in life, every L I've took, I try to spread the wisdom that I got from that to y'all. That's why I do all this. And I feel like it should show more because I'm a big shareholder and I'm willing to give it all up for this. Because I care. Because I genuinely care about faith. I care about what it did for the community. I care about how it just opened up so many doors for a lot of people for different things. I think it's beautiful. And I want it to always mean that. I don't want these people to come in and ruin the brand that I sacrificed my childhood for. I don't want people to come in and just milk it and do collab after collab that do bad by the way but it's just like they think the logo has a fan base like the logo is a person everyone's like, oh my god i can't wait to see the logo no it, it the logo represents a collection of people that make people feel a certain way that's what the logo was like they don't get this shit they're not from our world they don't consume our content they don't feel the same way we feel they don't really care about our fans they're numbers to them i've met how many fucking fans have I met? Them? I don't even fucking know. Since I was 15 years old, I met my first fan. I meet them all the time. I love you guys. If you guys in person, any person that's ever met me in real life, tell them how I've treated you. For real. I love my fans. I know I do. And I and all my fans end up being the creators or the fans, right? They end up being consumers and they end up supporting FaZe and all these brands. But they don't even know who they're supporting at this point. It, like people support it thinking that you're helping out your creator, but you're not. You know, you think like even when you guys buy like the Batman comic, you think, you think I'm getting a doll from that even my face is on that? No. It's like they don't talk about that and they're still not transparent with like who has how much shares, how much it's worth. So they'll tell you, you have this much, it's good. There's just so much that I want to tell y'all, man. There's so much and I will go detail for detail. I'm going to break it the fuck down. From the second I joined FaZe, I'm going to break down how everything went. Ask anybody also that knows me, ask them about my memory. Really ask them about my memory. They might try to discredit me now, but they know that I remember everything. I can't help it. I can't help I'm built this way. I can't help that God made me this way. I will never fold. I will never be like you. I will never, I will never take a check. And it's so sad some of y'all are taking checks and deals and you're shutting your fucking mouth even though you know this is fucked up and it's a lot less than what the fuck I already have. It's sad to me. It's like no way I'm willing to give up more. Don't act like I'm still the old phase. A fat phase. I'm still living off fat phase raise money, okay? I obviously haven't had an income or anything like that. So it's like easier for me, by the way, to just shut the fuck up, take the money, fix my life, deal with all my problems and you know, just be another NPC, but I just can't do it as a man, bro. I can't. I can't fold, bro. It, may, it would, like, make me feel terrible if I just said, you know what, yeah, I'll just take the money. Give me my money. I'll shut the fuck up. You guys keep fucking over everybody. It's fine. I don't care. Whatever. Keep telling people you're going to fix it, but you're not going to fix it. Like, no, I'm not doing that, bro. I wish I was Kanye. I could fall, fall back on 400 M's. It'd be a lot easier to do this shit. But again, I'm probably going to get sued out of this. Things are probably going to happen. Dude, I don't care what happens. As long as the truth is out and people get what happened and people understand and start understanding how these industries work. I think that it's already happened to so many other industries and I don't want it to happen to this one. I think people like Aiden and Kai Sinat, they're still like giving hope. I love seeing it. Creators that are making, and Speed of course, that are making so much money without any like agency around them by themselves. I love to see it. That is the beauty in a content creator. You don't need these fucking old people to dictate what the fuck you do and take advantage of you just for money, man. You don't. And I've always hated, I've always been against it. I don't want other people's money. I don't want investors. I don't want none of that shit. 
I don't, because you can just, McFaze had enough of a community to make money on its own, but they just don't think the way we do because they're not creators like us. They don't actually live this life. They'll go to the fucking warehouse, and then after that, they'll go do their boomer shit. They ain't, they ain't watching videos. They're not paying attention to who's popping and why they're popping. They don't care. And you can you can bring up the drug shit. I don't give a fuck. You can, if anybody who knows me knows I'm sober as hell right now, they know I'm not on nothing. They know how my life's been. I don't care. Keep using that excuse to try to discredit me. Don't care. It is what it is, right? Let three months of my life define everything I've done over the last decade. It's fine. You can do you. Believe what you want to believe. I'm not here trying to convince you guys and make you guys be like, oh my God, I want you on my side. No, believe what you want to believe. If you think it's correct and you can understand that, well, it's just business and that's how business goes. Okay, cool. That's how you think and you're a piece of shit. That's, that's, that's it to me. You know what I mean? If you think it's fine for people who take advantage of people that obviously don't know business and just to take advantage of them and set themselves up in a place to where they can earn a lot of money and they can earn a lot of shares and get a huge exit while these people made it and did it and were stuck to it. What happens if the stock ends up, you know, crashing? Who's it going to fall on? Obviously not the motherfuckers in the back. It's going to be like Phase Ray and Phase Epix, Phase Alex or Adapt or whatever. Like and that's what's going to fall on. It's not going to fall on them. It's going to be on us. So we're going to take the L for something we didn't fucking do again, again. So it's like, I'm sick of that. I'm so sick of that. It's like, I don't know, but it is what it is, right? I don't want to get like annoyed. I have to stay calm. I always understand that like, I know I know what I'm talking about, but then my emotions let me, you know, they, they take me to another place and I end up being wrong because of the way that I handle it. But I have to stay calm so that I get my point across. People understand and they know that I'm not just emotionally, you know, saying shit. Cause that's what I don't like. I don't like the same things to say. I have to mean it has to be hundred percent true. So yeah, you know, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't give a fuck. Y'all can turn on me. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. I'm fighting for you still. That's what you don't get. Even while y'all are turning on me, I'm still fighting for y'all. You don't get it. That's what you don't get. Because this all started when I asked for more for y'all. I was trying to get y'all more. And then they realized, oh shit, he's trying to fucking cause a problem. He's not just complying. And then they start fucking with me. And then for, and then it's like, you don't even stand up for me. I was standing up for y'all. And nobody stands the fuck up for me. Fuck y'all. For real. I don't fuck with none of y'all. And if you feel like the shoe fits right now, wear it, bitch. I love you guys so much. You guys are the best. You guys are the only thing holding me down for real. I love you guys to death, man. For real. Like, but again, I'm not trying to persuade you guys to like be on my side. Do y'all, for real, do y'all believe what y'all want to believe. I'm going to present my information. They can go in and present whatever you know information they come up with. I don't care. Everything I've done has been exposed on Instagram Live in the worst case of my life. I'm fine, bro. I don't give a fuck. I love you guys so much. We'll talk soon. Thank you guys for everything. Peace.